people, I see enough people are blame Andrew on this. I say, he can run the country better. And one thing Andrew on can do for run this country better, I have so all the job for it as you But the point is, that some people are say, yo, Andrew on this can't tap crime. Andrew on this can't tap crime, brother. And we as the youths alone can stop crime. The man them will walk and shoot the people them can stop crime. Because you see if they stop walk and do them things, the crime can ease them, brother. But we know say people are dead. But watch your style now. Make people sick and dead, brother. Right now, the old people them will live longer than the youths them right now, brother. No joke. Me not see no old people are dead, brother. From the day this place I heard. From 2019. A more I be a young youth bury over here. You can count the few old people we bury over here and the few old man elder them we bury over here, brother. I be a young youth and them dead by a gunshot. Either their friend carry them go set them up, then dead. Brother, I could live loving in our country and love one another, and brother. I could put on your gun for a second, no brother. Brother, I don't like to go up on YouTube, I go up on YouTube. Every day I go up on YouTube. I see why you dead. Gunshot. I see my view start to talk about it, brother. Yo, my view is partial, nobody. I just spot news no partial, nobody. Comes. My view TV, everybody for them man for them. So you, when you come brother, I'm make them talk good boy youth to Jamaica. I'm going build back a sweet, sweet Jamaica brother. Because Jamaica is nice in the youth. Brother, one time I used to think about badness, sake of circumstances. But my circumstances can't get over me right now brother. I don't make circumstances make me go turn bad man. Brother, I have to put a change in my life, brother. I could do the violence, brother. I could tap the violence. And we alone can do it. The government can do it. But we. You see me youth. When you come and wise up, brother. When you come, you wise up. Brother. When you come, put on your gun, my side. Put on your gun. Put on your gun, my side. Put on your gun, brother. And you come, brother. I could live as one and love, brother. You see me? Because we are for youths, brother. We are going on a message, brother. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just representing right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one, a blessed and wonderful Monday afternoon to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So for those who have made it into Monday, poor me, I tell you, let us all take a pause and give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life. Because life is indeed the greatest. Once you have life, my peeps, we have everything. Yeah, man. And to the ones and ones them will literally take life for granted, going around wantonly, and taking the life of others, me are telling you, you know, one day, one day, your time, I go come. Yeah, man. So, boy, this Monday morning, yeah, as always, whole heap of knockings and clappings, whole heap of murders, whole heap of people a ball, family in mourning, because a loved one has lost their life to either domestic violence or to the hands of criminal elements and sometimes because of reckless and careless driving them lose them life too but whatsoever the circumstances may be for you this morning who is in mourning i just want to offer my most sincere condolences to you and the family but know how it feel to get up every day and just See all these heartaches and pain in each and every person's life. Me know how depressing it feels to tune in to on the spot news media and other like-minded bloggers. And all you can see is knockings and clappings and people spread out like shit no longer among the land of the living. But I continuously implore and us as Jamaicans, whether it be yard or abroad, Stay prayed up, stay prayerful, because at some time, somewhere along the way, you know, 
the wrath of the Almighty Creator will be laid up on us. And each and every one of us you know, will have to answer to what we have done. So that's the reason why I continuously say each and every person need to start take responsibility for his or her own action or the lack of action thereof. I want to look around the world you know, and see all the atrocities we are going on you know, and see how many times the Almighty has spared us as Jamaicans. We are very blessed beyond recognition but some persons continuously take in God's grace and mercies for granted and at some point in time it's going to give and when that give me telling you you know my peeps a hell and powder was far away yeah man so i'm pretty sure by now some of the ones and ones them i say you're on the spot news media you yeah. chat too much right now you know so me i gotta take heed and get in at the news full speed <laughs> yeah man so we i got look back on this domestic violence thing where a father took the life of his daughter on Sunday in the wee hours of the morning where this 17-year-old girl, Shadik Calvert of a Barry Street address over there in East Kingston Police Division end up lose fair three pints. It is said that her father and her had a heated physical confrontation in the wee hours of the morning, sometime after 1 a.m. Sunday morning, and a knife was brought into play, and the father used a knife for ransom stabbing her own daughter to muck plate, leaving her lifeless. Now the father is out there on the run, and the police them definitely are sought after the father. Well, on the spot news media have for you on your screen a picture of the father that is most definitely wanted by the police. The man on your screen has since been identified by his alias. He's known in the streets as Dicky. It is said that ever since the altercation with him and his daughter and he found out that she was pronounced you know what upon arrival at the Kingston Public Hospital he fled the area and it is also said that he is somewhere in the parish of St. Thomas. So anyone see the face here and know the brother here, just ask him kindly if he turn over himself to the police. The police is not saying say, are you doing it, you know? But the police definitely want to question you as in relation to the loss of life of your daughter because you was the last person who had an altercation with her. Rumors have if you say is a boyfriend and rumors have if you say are you but most fingers is definitely pointing in your direction. So just turn over yourself to the police and make this easier upon everybody. Yeah man, don't make officer yeah man pick and team have to be deployed to St. Thomas for come dig you out of any hole where you're in a and you lay the bed hard so try go and go lay down your night. Yeah man. Now we have another really sad story of a couple who went missing on Saturday. This couple is a very vital part of a certain Kitsentown community because this couple goes around with a water truck and supply residents with the much needed necessity with them call water. Yeah, man. So the water people them end up losing them three pints. So the bodies of the two persons who was reported missing on Saturday have been found in Nashbury Grove in Kitsentown, St. Catherine. They have since been identified as Georgia Blunt, age 38, a water vendor, and Ruel Fuller, age 42, both of a Brendan district in Kitsentown, St. Catherine. The police said that a relative of one of the deceased attended the police station and reported that both persons left to make a water delivery sometime about 7.30 a.m. on Saturday. 
Now it is said that about 1.30 p.m. the same day, the female called and revealed that they were about to make the last delivery and then she and the man will definitely be heading home. The two have not been seen or heard from since and the report was made to the police who assisted with searches. About 9.45 a.m. this morning, police received information that both bodies were found in an abandoned house with their feet and hands bound and gunshot wounds to the head. Poor I may tell you, them deal with them grimy. Definitely slaughterish on that boy. Tie them up and bust a copper in them head just like that. Now when me would I really want to know, them people here definitely seem like productive and contributing citizens to their communities. And what them could I really do, make dirty kind of boy deal with them in such a way. Tie them up in my peeps and then bust copper in the people them head. Boy, I tell you, another family in mourning, another community weeping. Now, what the people them are going to do? Forget this much needed water resource. Because these persons were the persons that went out, bought their water truck and made sure that each and every household in their community was supplied with the much needed water. Boy, Jamaica, I don't know, you know what have we become? Channel. So we are going to head over to the neighbouring parish of Clarendon where another knockings and clappings took place resulting in the loss of life of a man. So on your screen is a community dancer who has since been identified as 25-year-old Devante Price, otherwise known as Antsman in the streets. He's from a large green address. Now, this man's body was found in an area known as Sanganetti along a ball field in a state of decomposition, riddled with bullet holes all over it. Poor I may tell you, the man them deal with the thing a certain type of way. This man, Devante Price, was reported missing on Saturday after he could not be found from the day before. So right in the beginning of the weekend, them Niam him food and broke the plate and found his gunshot riddled body in a state of decomposition this morning. The knockings and clappings continues. Yeah, man. Now we are going to head over in a western Jamaica. We are going to make a quick stop over Hanover. We are in recent weeks, recent days, recent hours. A whole heap of knockings and clappings are going over that side of the western end of Jamaica. Hanover definitely need a shake up. So Superintendent Sharon Bipute, the woman who is in charge of the Hanover Police Division, you need to ask the commissioner for some resources for root out all the way you see go on in your police division because Hanover get hot. Yeah, man. So a six-year-old boy is among three persons who get caught up and seriously injured by gunmen during an attack at their home in Hopewell District in Sandy Bay, Hanover on Sunday. The child, who is six years old, the other two persons, is a 71-year-old man and a 71-year-old woman. All have been admitted to the hospital, the police have reported. Now, it was reported also to the police that sometime around 5.20 p.m., the three were among family members at their house when gunmen invaded their premises and approached them, pop off them chaps and open fire, hitting them all over their bodies. It is said that the gunmen then fled in the area on foot. After the knockings and clapping subsided, it was realized that the three were suffering from what appeared to be gunshot wounds. They they were all assisted to the hospital where they were treated and admitted in a serious condition. Police, upon processing the knockings and clapping scene, discovered over 18 spent casings. No motive has been established for that brazen daylight attack. So over another desert, definitely 
nah go on good none at all yeah man so my peeps the thing rough out a john shop there all I can implore on each and every one of us as Jamaicans for do right and now just continuously look out on the corner eye and start take responsibility for his or her own action or the lack of it thereof. Because if we see something and not say nothing, you know, the same way when time something happened to we or one of our family member, somebody now nah, go say nothing neither and the cycle continues. And guess who will remain victorious? The criminal elements. Until we understand that we have the power over them and not them over we, we are going to continue to be like lamb to be slaughtered in these streets. So again, my peeps, a word to the wise is always sufficient. So anyway, remember, if you like, share, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in a subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.